We just made this St. Patrick's Day inspired front porch welcome stein door hanger and we did it using a piece of $2.50 MDF, threw it under our X-Carve CNC machine, threw some paint and some wax on it, BAM! Lucky for us, it turned out great and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back! Do you like to do a builder to make it? So do we. So much so that we do it every week. Megan knows that. Megan's one of our patrons over there on Patreon. If you want to be one too, I'll leave the link down below. This week, we're making a front porch welcome sign door hanger. It's St. Patrick's Day, so we thought we'd try to get lucky and pop off something cool for the holiday. Step two. Now we're gonna make all of our cuts. Actually, I'm just going to take this down to our CNC machine. We use an Inventables X-Carve, and I'm going to cut out all of our little shapes. It's only going to take like 30 minutes, so I'll be right back. You can actually do this with chipboard on the Cricut if you wanted to, kind of like I did that Grinch sign back at Christmas time. But we're just going to do it in this uh, using the MDF this time. I made a cut file in Adobe Illustrator, and I'm going to save as and SVG. I'm going to export that and then I'm going to go over to Easel which is inventable software that runs the X-Carve and I'm going to import that SVG. I'm going to size it and then I'm going to select cut on shape and then I'm going to hit color. Step three, now we're gonna paint. We're gonna put some chalk paint down on the letters, this white chalk paint. We got some dark, what is this, acrylic paint for our little hat pieces. And some light acrylic paint for our little shamrock, shamrock pieces. Yeah. My favorite part, painting. Yay! Alright, I'll give you a little, a little plate. Step four. Now we're gonna put it all together. We're gonna use some Gorilla Glue to glue the little hat pieces on for the big hat and the letters to the hats and the shamrocks. I'm gonna use this little piece of glitter paper as a guide when I'm gluing the, uh, the letters on. <laughs> They're still a little wet. Make, instead of the O in welcome, I was gonna use this little shamrock in gold. And I guess it looks pretty good on the camera, but looking at it, it doesn't have enough of a gold sheen to it. It doesn't pop. Doesn't pop. It has, I was using this metallic gold paint, but I don't, it's, again, it just doesn't have enough. So, I think what I'm going to use is this gold glitter paper. Now, I would suggest using some glitter vinyl, some adhesive glitter vinyl, but I didn't have any gold adhesive glitter vinyl, so sometimes you just have to make do with what you have. <laughs> so I'm going to cut this out and glue this piece of paper on top of this. All glued together. You gotta be gentle for a little while still. Glue's still setting up. Now we're gonna give all the little hats little buckles. Kind of make each hat pop a little bit. So we got some glitter paper. We don't have glitter vinyl. I would suggest glitter vinyl. And then on top of that, since we're here, I would suggest, since you're going to add vinyl to your wood, 
I would go ahead and spray this with a coat of polyurethane and let it dry yeah. and then add the vinyl on top. But because I don't have the vinyl, we're going to use this glitter paper. I think it'll be just fine. My door is under a covered porch so it doesn't get like direct rain or yeah, anything. No real weather. Okay, so here, I don't know if you can see our little buckle here. Garrett's going to fashion our buckle. So I've created a little strip for the top of each hat. It is in the black glitter, it's three quarters of an inch by five inches. And then the little gold buckle is, uh, is an inch and a quarter uh, square. So inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter. Oh, okay. All right, let's take this and cut two slits in it so that I could put the belt through it. See yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And then we're going to use our little Xyron machine here. This is the Xyron, Xyron. 250. Ooh. And we're going to make it a sticker. That's sounds, what I'm going to do. Sounds fast. Yes. Xyron. Watch it go. Yeah, I just need three. So now I'm just going to stick it right in here and run it on through. Right on through the Xylon. Xyron. Oh, Xylon. All right, now peel it up and it's a sticker. Boom, sticker. So cute. Look how cute that is. You see it? Can you see that? <laughs> Step five. Ooh, now we're gonna add some a dark wax. So these look really cute as they are, but I feel like they need a little dimension. Ooh. Look at how cute this guy is with the paper. It's so glittery and shiny now. But I feel like it needs a little dimension, so. We're going to add a little dark wax on the outside edges just to give it a little distressed aging look or something. Oh gosh, that is a lot. The thing about this dark wax is you only need a little, little bit. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good, don't you think? Yeah. I like how it gives it a little bit of yeah. roundness to it. A little dimension, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you think? I think it looks good. Right. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. What do you guys think? Can you see that? Does it look good? Let's show you some close-ups. Step six. We're gonna flip them over and add a ribbon so we can hang it. Hanging door sign. <laughs> All right, so I think we're gonna just do like this. I'm just gonna wing the spacing. Okay, I'm gonna use this green polka dot ribbon. So cute. Polka dots. And then I think, what am I going to do? It should be one down the center, right? Can you flip it, flip it, flip it, and flip it once more. There we go. I think I'm going to do it this way so that it has some nice holding power. All right, so I'm going to do two strips down the back with a loop at the top. And you want to cut that and then I think I'm just going to hot glue it and then we're going to use these tiny little nails to put a nail in each one to make sure it's got enough strength to hold the weight. All right. All right. She's hot. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Alright. 
Oh that's, my goodness, that's so cute! That's what we got so far! Uh, yeah. Not was, done yet. Not done not yet. Not done yet. Step seven! And now we have the accents! I guess that should have been more of an Irish accent, mm -hmm. but I can't do one. <laughs> okay, so I purchased some of these little glitter accents. I got those at Michael's for just a couple of bucks or whatever. So I thought we could just hot glue a couple of these on here, give it a little bling, bling little it something, up. something. All right, lay them out and I'll glue them down. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Ooh, what do you guys think? Pretty snazzy, huh? <laughs> we are so lucky we were able to pull this one out this week. Thing is a charm right here. <laughs> it's got a million of them. <laughs> if you guys like this week's project, hit that like button. Why don't you leave Kim a comment so she has something to do this week? <laughs> and until next week, maybe you could watch this video. Or maybe Kim's video. There you go. <laughs> I will see you guys next week. <laughs>